Hello video shooters, my name is Josh from videosbyjosh.com and today I want to talk to you about a spec ad that I created exclusively from stock footage. Let's take a look. Okay, so the project I wanted to talk to you about today is a spec ad that I created last month to bolster my video portfolio and to try something new. I had never done this particular challenge before and that was to create a spec ad specifically and exclusively from stock footage. But before we get into how I created an ad specifically out of stock footage, we have to touch on what exactly a spec ad is. A spec ad is a speculative advertisement, a commercial that's not likely to see the light of day, but more is issued to a company that you want to show your visual style to. It's not something they've paid you to do, but rather it's doing the work in hopes that in the future you'll get a commission based on the quality that you've presented them. Now, sometimes video creators do spec ads for local businesses or agencies and hope to get real concrete repeatable work. And sometimes video creators do perhaps larger than life spec ads for big brands as kind of a Hail Mary attempt to get any form of recognition from some of the major brands in their respective promotional industry. A spec ad as a director of photography is one of your most important tools for marketing yourself. If you've got a couple really good spec ads under your belt, then you have something that you can point to to say that, hey, I made this and I can do this again for you and your brand. Personally, I've created dozens of these types of commercials, advertising everything from furniture to mouthwash, and it's always a really interesting experience for me, someone who shoots a lot of furniture related content, it's nice for me to slip out of my comfort zone and perhaps tackle an, an industry that I'm not familiar with covering. Many of the spec ads that I've shot have led to long and prosperous business opportunities for my freelance outlet. And some of them, well, not so much. They're spec ads. They could get picked up, they could not. And ultimately some of them on the business front are just dead ends. Every time I shoot a spec ad, I try to incorporate a unique visual style or editing trick. That way I can at least learn something from the production that I can perhaps bring into my future work. And speaking of work, one of the most strenuous, time-consuming, the biggest hassle to creating a spec ad is filming the footage, is actually producing the ad. So the amount of work that it takes to make a spec ad, essentially an unpaid version of, of this type of work, can deter even the keenest of creatives. It can be a real daunting challenge, which is why every tool we can utilize as video creators to speed up the process and make it easier on ourselves is uh, one that shouldn't be pushed away. And for me, that's where Artgrid came in. Artgrid is a stock footage subscription that popped up a number of years ago to compete with other big players in the stock footage industry. They offer thousands of clips on a variety of topics, and typically the unnamed approach to using their service would be to acquire the footage to fill in gaps between your own projects, you know, getting that extra shot that might be too expensive or prohibitive for whatever reason to shoot, and finding that on Artgrid and using that as part of your projects. I like to say it's a great gap filler for your work, but what if the whole ad was your gap. What if you had to fill an entire ad with just stock footage? Of course it could be done, but could it be done to a professional level? Could it be done to the point where you could sign off on it and say, yeah, that looks good? That's the challenge that I wanted to set for myself and that's what I found out. Before we move ahead any further, I wanna clarify that I'm not sponsored by Artgrid in any way. I don't get any kickbacks from extra sign-ons. I do, however, advocate for their service. I think what I get for my annual subscription is quality and I wanted to put it to the test. Could I create an entire spec ad just from Artgrid footage? I first had to decide who I wanted to make a spec ad for. And one of my prevailing thoughts was, I wanted to make a spec ad for Airbnb. I had saw some interesting work on Instagram recently, and while not applicable to what I wanted to do necessarily, they kind of sparked my creative interest. I wanted to create an ad that was touching, that kind of captured the relationship between two people, and showed off an interesting looking vista to promote the fact that Airbnb allows you to stay in a variety of different places. I came up with the concept of a couple rekindling their relationship whilst on vacation and the magic that happens when you get to travel with Airbnb, XYZ. The concept is pretty universal and that's the kind of catch-all I wanted in this ad. So I had initially started by going into my library of footage, the, the clips that I had saved from Artgrid that had caught my eye while browsing and seeing if I could perhaps cobble them together and make an ad based on what I liked individually. But this did not work. This approach of trying to push all these different types of footage together was messy and time consuming. So what I ended up doing was banking on art grid collections. Art grid collections are exactly what they sound like. They're groups of footage 
clips that were shot all in the same shoot. So they're all from the same camera, they're all relatively close to the same types of shots, maybe focal lengths, the lighting conditions could be the same. These are the compilations of clips that you want when you're putting together a larger ad. And I quickly found what I was looking for. I found a group of clips shot by a director of photography known as Hans-Peter Shep on Artgrid, and he had shot some footage that was labeled Friends Day Out to the, I believe it was the Faroe Islands out in Denmark, which I thought to be a really interesting vista, like a really cool place to go. And what he did was he recorded his entire day. So he recorded driving out to the islands and finding the accommodations and then doing some sightseeing. And I thought that would be a great progression for my ad. So I downloaded roughly 15 clips and brought them into Premiere Pro. A quick rule that I follow for spec work is that if it's not intensely motivated, spec ads should not be long. This stuff should be very short and in most cases, very snappy or poignant with the emotions you're trying to convey. So I never intended for this project to be very long and I gave myself a sub 30 second ad length to create my spec ad. I wanted to keep it short, a kind of a tight commercial block. Now I was lucky that this footage actually had clips of accommodations of, of cool looking dome kind of domicile hotels, uh, which almost looked like they were right out of a space movie to be honest. And I thought that would be really cool to exemplify the distance that you could go potentially with Airbnb. I thought it'd be a cool selling point. So I got as many of these clips of these little houses as possible. Another tip when you're making spec ads is to do your research on the brand. Learn its vision, its values, and any slogans or branding icons or monikers that it currently uses. I know that the slogan currently for Airbnb is belong anywhere. And what communicates that better than perhaps an expansive vista, someplace that people may never travel. Belong anywhere means belong at the edge of the earth. And that's where this footage actually looked like it came from. So it was very interesting. And I think it worked really well. I cut the footage up at a brisk pace and I moved it around a bunch and I finally got a cut or an edit that I thought worked pretty well. Once I created my rough cut, I went to Epidemic Sound and found some music that I thought was kind of soothing and went with the tone of the spec ad. I also used Epidemic Sound to kind of build out the little details of my ad. I sourced sound effects for things like waves and wind and driving and built out a, a pretty robust soundscape for my ad because I wanted to make it feel like the viewer was really there, really hearing all these noises and that worked out pretty well. Finding a voiceover artist, I typically hire locally, but this time I wanted to use my connection with a place called Bunny Studios. Bunny Studios is an online resource for voiceover artists and a bunch of other creative freelancers on there. So there's a lot of good work that can be done from Bunny Studios and I've had a good working relationship with them over the last two years. After spending a certain amount of money, they actually gave me my own rep. So I actually have someone I talk to directly to hire out for projects. And for this one, it was it was no different. I asked them to provide me a voiceover artist for a light script that I had written for my sub 30, 25 second ad. And they produced, they found me a female voiceover artist with that sensual yet romanticized, soft and soothing voice that I wanted for my spec ad. So away went the voiceover. I assembled the sound and the voiceover and the footage, and I put everything together for more or less a fine cut of the ad. And then I went to the color grading process and I thought that this should have an interesting look. So with my admittedly uh, moderate skills at grading in Premiere Pro, I went with a non atypical orange and teal, warm and vibrant type look, a very contrasty moody look that I thought went well with the footage that was provided by Artgrid. I did have to change the tones here and there, and I did apply a light grain over top of it to kind of blur in some of the sharper digital details. And after some Calling it over and working with the individual shots, some being more difficult than others, I finally found a place where I thought I was happy with the footage as it was colored. The final piece of work that I included in this ad was a light animation at the end. I recreated the Airbnb logo using some photos online and brought it into Illustrator, and then I animated a brief squared off housing animation with a fading up logo at the top, hence their slogan. I used the Airbnb colors, I found the hexadecimal online, and I put it in a way that stylistically I thought matched the branding guidelines of Airbnb. Not being being privy to those guidelines, I actually had to kind of guess as to what would be fitting in within them. That's kind of the nature of the ad. You're creating something for someone who hasn't given you their creative portfolio. They haven't told you that we want to style stuff like this. And while you might have an idea, there is a bit of guesswork that can come at this stage as to how you think you can present this to the brand. I finished off the edit, exported it, and the final product is now viewable on my YouTube page. Here's a quick look. My greatest dream is to spend the rest of my life with you laughing and sharing, making wonderful memories in all that we do. You can find the full version of the video, a blog post, and other videos that I've done on my website, which is videosbyjosh.com. So it turns out that yes, you can create a spec ad exclusively from stock footage. This isn't surprising at all. I mean, of course you can, because there are thousands of hours of stock footage online. Of course you could take a clip here and a clip there, cut it into an ad, and, and that's what your product is. What surprised me was the quality that I was able to achieve using the stock footage. I was able to produce what I would sign off on as a professional product using footage that was 100% stock. And in the past, that might not have been true. Now, 
Now, there are a ton of offerings for stock footage out there. I encourage you, if you're interested in acquiring a stock footage package or provider, to do your research and figure out which of them is right for your needs. For me, I was able to accomplish this whole project using just stock, a collection from ArtGrid, but you could do this, I'm sure, with many of the other stock footage providers. It's not exclusive to their platform. Ultimately, I'm happy with my spec ad, and I'm going to approach stock footage a little less hesitantly in the future than I did prior to this project. So video shooters, what did you think about my project? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one.